Hi everybody, Carol at Angels. So nice to see you and so happy to be starting these just short little demos just to give you guys, you know, some things to do. Um, you know, things that can keep you busy and if you um, are intimidated by making bags, this is like such a short little, it's a great intro to making bags and um, just something really, really simple to do. So I, um, and I am gonna give a shout out to So Sweetness. Uh, this is a free pattern on So Sweetness. You really don't even need to have the pattern because the, the width of this is uh, nine inches long by seven inches wide with some rounded corners. You don't even need to have rounded corners if you don't want to. So either way, but this is a free pattern on So Sweetness, you can grab that. So basically you're going to cut your pattern out which is, I already have that ready, so we don't have to take the time to do that. And then you're going to do the same with the opening. This is the opening for the zipper. And pretty much as a general rule when you're doing um, zippers on any kind of bag, and you'll know what I mean if you get into making them, um, you know, moving forward. <clears throat> it's usually about a half an inch on either, let me get to this view. <clears throat> it, oh, no, this view. No, it's this view. Sorry guys, I promise you these will get better and better, promise you. Usually want a half an inch on um, either side here of, you know, to, from the end of your bag. Half an inch there, half inch there. And basically the opening is about a half an inch. Half an inch for a YKK zipper. For my zippers by the yard, because these are number fives, I usually do three quarters of an inch and sometimes even just a tad more than three quarters. So um, again, don't worry about all that. It, it might sound a little confusing to you right now. I know it did to me at the beginning, so don't don't worry about that. So basically you're gonna cut your, um, cut your pattern out. I use some Prolite cork, which we have right here in the store. And what Prolite means, it's, it's just a thinner cork. It's a thinner cork. This is Sally, pretty sure this is Sally tomato. Some of them, she doesn't have her name on the back, but I'm pretty sure this is Sally Tomato. Um, that's one of my favorite ones. This one is a little bit heavier cork, more of like kind of like the, the normal cork, cork that you're maybe a little bit more familiar with. So that's what I did here. So basically, when you get to this point, you're gonna grab your YKK zipper. Now, I say YKK zipper because this is meant to be like a beginner, um, a, a little, you know, if you're, you've never done bags, this is a great start. And it's even a great start to learn how to put a zipper on. Um, there are different techniques for all different bags. So again, this is a simple bag and we're gonna use a YKK. I have used on this bag, I did use a zipper by the yard, but we'll get into that another time. So grab your YKK zipper. You want it to be about an inch longer on both ends to start with, okay? You're gonna put some double-sided tape along both sides of your zipper tape and you want it to hug the the end like the the end of um, the tape let me see if we can get a better view this way there we go so I'm going to now I'm gonna just show you how I do the other side I want to press it down as you go across you really only need the tape on here as long as the opening is you don't need to go to the to the very end of the zipper tape. So we're gonna cut that right there, which is great. Press it down with your fingers because then it gives it a nice, you know, it's gonna be on there. And then basically you're gonna just rip off the top part and the bottom, the sticky part stays right on your zipper tape. And again, it does make a difference. You gotta press down with your fingers. So basically you're gonna lift up your pattern, put your zipper right down. Keep the zipper pull over here. Keep it out of the window for now. Then you're going to lay this right on top. Make it as even as you can. You want it, um, you want to have, um, you know, I kind of try to start like on one end and, and press as you go because pretty much when you press down, it, it, it's not gonna move from there for the most part, you know? Press it all nice and down. There you go. So I usually like to start up here so here we go I'm just gonna move the camera to the sewing machine so you can see what I'm doing and okay I am working on a baby lock zeal so whatever machine you are working on if it's easier for you to have a zipper foot 
go ahead put your zipper foot on I I usually don't use a zipper foot it'll it, it depends on really what I'm doing what machine I may be working on you know that kind of stuff but basically because this the, the zeal can move moves my needle over so it's kind of easy and I, I what I do is I lay the foot against the coil and bring the foot down bring your zipper over because you want it to be it's usually like about an eighth maybe like a, a little bit like a scant quarter um, past your uh, cork from the zipper tape all right you want it to make sure that you're going to catch obviously your zipper tape on the bottom and the cork so we're going to just start sewing right there and go nice and slow no big deal now this is where it's you know just make sure when you get to the to the end where you're going to want to pivot make sure your needle is down okay put the foot up come around now this is where you are going to want to do not because you don't want to and actually you know what I think we're going to need to do here we're going to need to take it out we are going to need to take it out because now you want to oh, let's just move this down there we go we want to bring our zipper pull through here and don't worry it, it it takes you know it's a little bit of finagling see I'm even having a hard time And, and again, what you can do at this point too, because you don't want to, you don't want to sew across here, because then you're not going to be able to get your zipper pull over. So press down again with your fingers. Make sure that that is, you know, snug, and make sure your coils are, are together. All right, is all. You don't want to go over with the needle on your zipper pull. So we're going to put it back into the machine, and I would probably do a little um, reinforcement where we left off right there. Bring it down. Eh, you know, get it as close as you can. And I'm gonna just go forward a little bit, go backward a little bit. There we go. And then go right across. Oop! <laughs> right. We're we're beginners here. We are. But hey, it's okay. Pivot. Turn. Oh, you know what? That I could do another stitch there there we go up and pivot and down and watch when you get to here just be a little careful as a matter of fact you can even bring it down a little bit more that's what I do remember your foot is right against your coil and right here I would stop with needle down lift up and this is easy right now to bring your pull right past that edge so now you're all set with the zipper pull Continue going down. Be careful on the end. And remember, you have that metal piece right here. You want to make sure that you are clear of that when you go across. Bring it over. Come right across. See, I'm not used to this machine, so this is a little weird for me. But there we go. We're good. I mean, you know, we get spoiled with all these fancy machines that we have. And, um, yeah, I'm not used to this. So just snip your, snip your threads. There we go. And we're going to want to now turn it over. I always, I, I use a contrasting thread just so you can see it. See, mine's not perfect. Mine is not perfect. It's all practice. That's what you do. So then I lift this up right here like that, and we're gonna cut it. I love my Martelli rotary. There we go, just like that. We're gonna do the same over here. You wanna get it just, you know, you, you, you don't want it to be over here. That's perfect, just like that. All right, we're hitting the home stretch. Now, here we go, we have this. One more step, that is it. You're gonna take it, you are going to fold this. My favorite thing in the whole entire world is my clips. I usually have these all over my table. So 
so you want to clip. And especially when you're uh, working with cork, you don't want to use pins because it will keep, it'll stay right in, in the fabric. So there we go. I'm just going to do one more just in case. There we go. And that is it. So now we're up to this point. All right. Now we're going to go back to the machine and we're going to start right up here and you don't want to you don't want to start right at the end you want to start like an eighth of an inch down now again it, it, it's going to go by your machine I usually like to do probably like a scant quarter I usually like to do um, and let's start Do a little reversal. There we go. And there we go. And you know, you're you're gonna know what your guides are on your machine. Again, I'm not used to the zeal here, so this is different for me. And if you did some rounded corners, it's okay. Challenge yourself. It's okay. Just go nice and slow. That is it. You know, when I'm doing these kinds of things, I always, I like to, so remember, you don't, you don't want to go all the way to the end. And you don't, there we go, we're going to do a little back, there we go, and we're good, and that is it. See, I'm so used to just pressing a button, I usually don't have to do all of this cutting. There we go. There we go. There we go, and there, we go. there you go. How easy is this? That is it. That is it. So here are some samples here with some vinyl. Um, so I want to dare you to get out of your comfort zone. Go ahead, try it, make a bag. The, um, the next demo we're going to do We'll have it all up on our on our YouTube. It'll be in addition to this. I made, um, when I was introduced to the bag, it is made with no lining and it's raw edges because when you use cork or vinyl, you don't have to have, you don't, you don't have to have a clean edge. It, I mean, you can't do it with material, with cotton material, but you definitely can have a raw edge with cork or even vinyl. Sometimes with vinyl, what I'll do, and this is just a little tip, um, I, and it depends on, I, I, don't, I don't know why that is, but some vinyl, the edges are white some they're not. It's kind of different. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, I have some fabric markers and fabric markers will be sometimes your best friend. I know they're my best friend, especially when I'm doing some embroidery work and stuff like that. I will, if I don't like the look of the raw edge on, on a certain vinyl that I'm using, I'll just take the fabric marker and, and just color it. And I like to be funky. I do like to go out of the box with my colors. I always like to, my top stitch, I love it to be like a bold, different color. I used a different color mainly this time for, so that you'd be able to see as I was sewing, although you really can't see it that, that well anyway. But anyway, I'm hoping you're liking these demos. I would love for you to make one of these, bring it into the shop and show me. I would just love it. And our next one will be adding linings to this which that's another step to the bag making process so um start with this one with a simple simple ykk zippers we have everything here at the store if you don't have anything at home that you can um that you can make one and um have a happy creative day and please bring in your bags to show me bye everybody <music>